Hello viewers, this is Too Fast here. In today's video, I want to show you this very nice OBD diagnostic scan tool that's very affordable and very compact. This one here is the King Boland eDiag Elite OBD2 scan tool. As you can see, it doesn't have a screen and it's just the OBD scan tool that plugs into the OBD port. To use this, you'll be pairing this tool with a mobile app on your phone. And with the app, you'll be able to do many different system diagnostic function on your vehicle. And the nice thing about this tool is there are no subscription fees. So you don't have to pay any annual fees or monthly fees. And the app is also free to use. In this video, I'll go over some of the functions on this tool. So let's get started. Right here is a King Bolin eDiag Elite OBD scan tool. As you can see, it's very small. And the reason for that is because the user interface will be on the phone. Let's open this up. Right here is the quick start guide. And this eDiag Elite scan tool. At the corner here is a LED status light. On this end is a 16 pin OBD connector. Now let me go over some of the features on this scan tool. When you purchase this, it comes with lifetime update and there are no subscription fees. So you pay for this tool once and you can use it for many, many years. This tool is an all system diagnostic tool. It can read and erase fault codes. You can use it to look at live data streams. You can also do an automatic diagnostic report where it scans all the computers in the vehicle and lets you know if there are any faults with it. There are also 15 plus hot reset functions. And this tool can also do some bi-directional control. So you can do active testing of some of the components in the vehicle. The app you need to install is called eDiag. You'll find this app in both Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Install it. Open it. With the app installed, let's go to the vehicle, plug in the OBD scan tool, and we'll connect the app to the scan tool using the Bluetooth connection. I'll plug the scan tool into my 2017 Nissan Pathfinder here. The OBD port is located underneath the driver's side dash. On this vehicle, the OBD port is right here. To pair the app to the scan tool, select the plus button right here. Now if this is your first time using this app, you need to register for an account. Next select the Bluetooth icon at the top. Now you can select activate. Using your phone, scan the activation code that's on the manual. And here's the activation code on my manual. And right now on the Bluetooth symbol, you see a green check mark letting you know it's connected. Now I did go ahead and start the vehicle. You get some of the tests that I'll do will require the engine to be running. And looking on the app, I'm gonna select all systems diagnostic. To do an auto VIN scan, I'll select VIN scan. and I found the vehicle as a 2017 Nissan Pathfinder. I can do an automatic search or manual search. I'll do an automatic search. And here's the information on this vehicle. So confirmed. On this menu, I can select health report or system scan. I'll first do a health report. Now I'll scan all the modules in the vehicle for fault codes. Now at the top, these are the abnormal codes. At the bottom are the normal codes. Under normal code, you have the ECM, ABS, instrument cluster. And if I check the ECM, do a read fault code. And you can see at the bottom, it says no DTCs detected. So there are no fault codes on the ECM. At the top where you have the abnormal code, you can take a look at these ones also. Let's take a look at the side radar. Read fault code. Here it says the radar is blocked, but I know the radar detector on this vehicle is working fine. If you're curious about what this fault code is, you can do a search, and this will open up the Google search page, and it'll basically show you the search result for this code. Let's go back. Let's take a look at the transmission control module, which is for the transmission. Let's look at read data stream, and select all signals. Now at the top, there's a search bar. You can search for certain PIDs. So I'm gonna search for temperature. And here you see there's fluid temperature. 
Also like that, okay. And this actually shows you the temperature of the transmission fluid. Right now it's 129 degrees Fahrenheit. This is very handy because if you're doing a CVT transmission drain and fill, you do need to monitor the temperature of the fluid when you're checking the level. Often to be able to read this data, you do need to buy a very high-end scan tool that costs five, six hundred dollars. But with this tool, you can read the data right on here. Go back again. Now I can select multiple PIDs. So for example, I'll select engine speed and fluid temperature. Select OK. At the top is engine speed, at the bottom is the fluid temperature. I can select combine at the bottom and then select these two pits. Select OK. Now it will graph both data together. Right here is the RPM and right here is the temperature of the fluid. I'm going to step on the gas and you'll see the RPM change. And that's how you can graph two data points together. Let's go back. Now at the bottom, you also have the option to generate a report. If I select report, now generate a PDF file. Generate PDF. And here's a report with the engine speed and fluid temperature. So if you need to save it for future records, or you want to print this out and give it to your mechanic, you can do that. Let's go back. Now select system scan. The scan is complete, it will tell you what module is equipped. Here I can select one of the modules. And just like what I showed you earlier, you can read fault code, clear fault code, read data stream, and actuation test. Let's take a look at actuation test. And here's a list of some of the possible actuation tests you can check. I'll select flasher. Here I can turn the flasher on and off. Select the right turn signal. And now the right turn signal is flashing. So this is an example of the bi-directional control this scan tool can do. Now do keep in mind, not all functions are supported by all vehicles. So depending on the year, make, and model of your vehicle, some of these actuation tests may or may not work on your car. Let's take a look at maintenance functions. These are some of the resets you can do on the vehicle. With these resets, depending on the vehicle you have, it may or may not support it. And if you want to use any of these, you do need to download the software for each one of these. Now I've already downloaded the old maintenance reset. Select that. Now I'll need to select the make. Tells you to switch the ignition on. Here I can do a manual reset. Pathfinder. So on this screen it tells you this function only supports 2005 to 2007 and 2008 to 2012. So my 2017 is not supported. So again, these reset functions may or may not work on your vehicle. But here's a list of all of them. Vehicle coverage inquiry. Here you can search for the VIN number and see if your vehicle is covered by the scan tool. Reports will show you the reports you saved. You can open these reports or delete it. History. This will show you a history of the vehicles you connected it to. And when you're done with this, you can turn off the ignition and remove the scan tool. As you can see, this is a great tool for all the do-it-yourselfers at home. If you get a check engine light in your vehicle, you can use this tool to quickly find out what the fault code is. Because this tool uses your phone for the software user interface, it makes this tool very portable. You can leave this scan tool in your glove box and pull it out whenever you need it. At the time of this review, you can get this eDiag Elite OBD scan tool for $100. If you're interested, check out the link below. And don't forget to check the coupon below the price to get any additional savings. I hope you enjoy watching this video. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this video. To support this channel, remember to click on thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell so you get notified of new videos.